Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star series, Life Your Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest concerning the Black Stars as they prepare for their next game against Egypt tomorrow, 8 p.m. We are going to talk about all the latest life here on Sports Corner GH. We are also going to talk about Mohamed Kudus. We heard some reports about him. We are going to talk about it life here on Sports Corner GH. And also, I'm going to give my two cents on the Black Star supporters who are ready to boycott supporting the Black Stars because of unpaid bonuses. I'm going to talk about it live here, including some transfer latest update concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much and may God richly bless you. On the Black Star series, we give shout outs. So guys, if your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you, please. Continue to support Sports Corner GH, but if your name is not here, don't worry. Comment under this video, and I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout-out list we do live here on Sports Corner GH. So, guys, quickly, let's jump into it and talk about the Black Stars. Yesterday, I complained that the Black Stars, after being beaten by Kivet, have not posted anything of the Black Stars on their social media platform. But yesterday, after people you know, started bashing them to post something of the Black Stars, they posted their training and preparation towards the next game. And we all saw the players who are ready to play that game. And one thing I noticed about all the pictures that they posted was that the players were not smiling. I don't know if you noticed. The players were not smiling. They looked serious. For the next game, I hope that seriousness reflects on the game that we're going to play against Egypt. Now, Mohamed Kudus was involved in the training with the rest of the team. But per report, what you are receiving is that he's going to be assessed again. Yes, he's going to be assessed again to see if he can be ready to feature for the Black Stars against Egypt. We hope that he is fit enough to play in that game because we need our star boy. Regardless of the whole argument and the whole theory going on the social media, no country man's over saying he's not an important player for the black stars it's not the best black star player blah 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 to me i believe this one this is in the black star team he will bring some sort of difference in the way we play that is based on my own opinion let me know yours down below in the comment section but the good news is that yes the gfa social media handles have finally dropped something concerning the black stars as they will prepare for their next game against egypt which will be played tomorrow 8 speed and when we hope that they, they they perform well and give us some good results in that game honestly they should just give us some good results in that game now moving away from that let me talk about this i came across this yesterday i decided to go in further and look at how Ghanaians were going to react to this particular statement now this statement states that ghana black star supporters that were sponsored by the government to leave ghana here and support the black stars normally those who wear the uh, ghana flags and also those who painted themselves and everything are deciding to boycott the, the supporting the uh, the black stars at the afcon because of unpaid bonuses hey no ghana eh, i don't know we we, we 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 have a huge problem we have a huge problem in this country if these supporters are threatening to work out what supporting the black stars because of unpaid bonuses, what about us? What about the rest of the Ghanaians, like Ghanaians in this country? What about Ghanaians in Ivory Coast going there on their own accord with their own money to support the Black Stars? Now, I've heard that its, it's, it's, it's supporter will be receiving $400. Oh, okay, oh, if, if you change it to Ghana, uh, Ghana, Ghana cities, that is getting close to $4,500 or maybe $4,300 thereabouts. 4,000 Ghana, more than NSS money. Yeah, more than NSS money. Imagine if the Black Stars stayed there for even for over like 12 days. Imagine the money they're going to make. We insist you got quiet. If they will not support, they should come home. This is what I have to say. If they will not support, they should come home. Ah, do not Ghanaians living in Ivory Coast. Do not Ghanaians who left here, here, Ghana here to Ivory Coast with their own money to go and support the Black Stars. And now you have been sponsored by the government to go and support the Black Stars. Who oh, say you are going to boycott? Hey, Ghana, we are a funny country. <laughs> that is the truth. We are a funny country. See, we have moved from players threatening to boycott football matches and tournaments because of unpaid bonuses to now supporters. Black Star supporters threatening to boycott supporting the Black Stars in tournaments because of unpaid bonuses. Hey. No, 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 no. I mean, 
this whole thing looks like a movie to me. I, honestly, it looks like it, it has been scripted. And then you're acting it because it doesn't make sense. So who support who are supporting black stars? You who know? oh, boy it because you are you are not paid. Where is the patriotism? Where is it? Brave No, if you not support Cambo. If you not support Cambo, do you know the number of uh, Ghanaians living in Ivory Coast? Ah, <laughs> what is this? Ah, they are giving them four hundred dollars each. Home, four hundred dollars each. I mean, it's sad. It's, see, the way there's no job here. If people hear that they, they were giving the supporters $400 each, do you know the number of people who went join it? People are living there. Ah. Guys, let me know what you're talking about. Because to me, it doesn't make sense that supporters are, are trying to work out. They should leave it. They should leave. They should go. They should come back to Ghana. They should come back to Ghana. If they will not support the black, they should come back. Charlie, ah. Charlie. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section because it to me it, it vex me why it, it, it vex me because we have issues like huge issues with the black stars not to come in material of supporters trying to guys let's move on from that that is the latest concerning the black star camp news supporters threatening to boycott supporting the black stars because of unpaid bonuses let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section now to just end this one we all saw Mali play yesterday. See, Mali is in our World Cup group. We are playing qualifiers. Let's not forget, Charlie. Mali, they play. Uh, Black Stars, we have to do our things for you. Otherwise, the, the World Cup, they won't go. Because Mali, they are not joking. Not, not me, they are crying every day matches. Mali, they are not joking. So, guys, let's move away from the Black Stars and talk about some latest transfer update. I believe you might be interested. Now, let's talk about... A young Ghanaian player who featured for the Black Stars, that's the under 17, in a tournament organized by UEFA called the UEFA Youth Championship in Serbia last year. They played against Serbia, Spain, and Switzerland, and Ghana won that particular tournament. Now, this player is called Fatal Ganihu. Now, Fatal Ganihu is currently with Australian Giants Red Bull Salzburg for a three weeks tryout. Yes, for a three-week trials. Now, as part of his trial, he's going to travel with the under-18 team to Brazil to play a youth tournament. Yes, he's going to travel with the under-18 team with the Red Bull Stalbert to Brazil to play a youth tournament. So let's not forget, last year, Fatal Ganeu held some trials at RC Lens. Yes, in France. RC Lens in France. And currently, they are still monitoring his situation. Also, teams such as Chelsea, by minute and PSV are also monitoring the situation of Fatal Ghani who whilst he's holding trials at different teams at different times they are making sure they are monitoring his progress and don't be surprised if one of these big teams either Chelsea, Bayern Munich, Red Bull Salzburg or RC Lens ends up landing the young Ghanaian player called Fatal Ghani who, who was part of the Black Stylist team that featured in the UEFA Youth Championship against Serbia, Spain, and also Switzerland, where Ghana won that particular tournament. So, guys, that is the latest update concerning the young player. He's just 16 years of age. I think this year he'll be 17. So, guys, that is the latest update. Now, moving away from that, let's talk about Jonathan Sowa. Jonathan Sowa currently plays for Bidama, and currently he's with the Black Star team at the AFCON. And the news we are receiving is that Libyan top flight club called Amnesty Benghazi and Nasser Benghazi has tabled down a lucrative offer to Jonathan Sowa to sign him. Yes, a very lucrative offer. Let's not forget, there were teams that were interested in him. In fact, Alan Lee were interested. Mamalodi Sandals were also interested. But the offer and Nasser Benghazi is bringing on board is very lucrative. And currently, Mediama and Anna Benghazi are currently in talks to see whether they can agree on a fee and also sign the player very soon. So far, Jonathan Sowa with Mediama has scored 19 goals in 35 appearances for them so far. And he's a very good player. And I mean, we'll follow up on this to bring you latest update on his transfer. Once you are playing in the Black Stars, good things will come for you. So, guys, that is the latest update I have for you concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. Life your sports corner GH. Let me know your thoughts about it. Like, subscribe, and also don't forget to turn on notification to sports corner GH. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Chat it. We go vibe.